Welcome to Griffin's Gaming Guides. In this video, we're going after another The Last of Us Part 1 trophy. Build them up, break them down. We need to upgrade and then break one of every melee weapon. Now, in total, there are five melee weapons found throughout the game, which will need upgrading, then breaking, which is a lot simpler than it sounds, as once a melee weapon has been upgraded, it breaks with one hit, which sounds worse than normal, but it also performs a one-hit kill on every human-infected clicker enemy in the game. It won't work on bloaters, unfortunately. Now you can upgrade a melee weapon once you've discovered how to craft melee upgrades which can be done easily in the chapter Billstown the Woods where you will be able to craft melee upgrades once you collect the pipe on top of the first small roof where you lay the plank to cross to the adjoining building. Now that you have the melee upgrade you then need to have times one binding and times one blade to upgrade whichever melee weapon you currently have equipped and then hit an opponent with that upgraded weapon which will kill them instantly. Like I say it doesn't work on blow such is life. You can then move on and work your way through the five melee weapons. Now we're going to list off all five melee weapons that are required so make sure that you stick around to the end of the video. We're going to show you the location and like I say every single one of them just get upgraded with times one binding and times one blade so make sure that you keep an eye out for them as you progress through the game. So like I say, the first upgradable weapon will be the pipe that you can collect. That's when you can do your melee upgrades. So you've already seen me pick it up in the footage. Make sure that you get yourself over there, grab yourself a pipe. There's a couple of clickers waiting down here for you to ambush you. So just simply go around there, give them a nice little swing to the side of the head with a pipe, and then you can move on with your day. Your second upgradable weapon will be the 2x4. Basically a nice big lump of wood. Always connects well with a head. As you're sneaking past the clickers around the crypts in the chapter Billstown the Graveyard, go down the stairs to an area with a fountain and a few stone benches around. You can find a 2x4 on one of the stone benches which you can upgrade so long as you have times one binding and times one blade, then get a kill with the upgraded 2x4 on any of the clickers around or save the 2x4 until you have the materials and then get a kill at a later date making sure that you don't pick up another melee weapon as it will then overwrite the one that you're currently carrying. So if you've got a 2x4 you pick up a pipe you should have already done the pipe by now make sure that you keep hold of the 2x4 and obviously that rule would apply with the other melee weapons that you need as you're moving through getting this trophy done Your third melee weapon, the baseball bat, can be found in the chapter Bill's Town the Graveyard. Once you, Bill and Ellie have dropped down into the yard with the pool from the treehouse, go right into the house, then head left to the garage. Look against the back wall to find a shelving unit with a baseball bat on top of it, which can be upgraded as long as you again have times one binding and times one blade, then head outside and melee one of the infected patrolling around the school buses. Again, if you don't have the required materials, simply hang on to the baseball bat until you do, then get a kill as soon as you can. Melee weapon number four, and my personal favourite melee weapon in the game, can be found in Tommy's Dam Hydroelectric Dam and is the Hatchet. Head through the dam until the humans ambush you, then go up the stairs and look to the pallet on your right once you're back outside from the control room to find the hatchet. Upgrade the hatchet, then get a kill on any of the humans around, or keep hold of the weapon and upgrade it, then get a kill as soon as you can. Now the hatchet does perform one hit kills on any standard enemy anyway, but you will need to upgrade it in order for it to count towards your trophy. And then your fifth and final melee weapon, the machete, can be found in the chapter Tommy's Damn Ranch House. 
Once the humans invade the ranch house, take out the one with the gun, then go into the room to the right of the staircase and drop the enemy with the machete. Ensure you pick the machete up, then craft the melee upgrade if you can, go downstairs and get a kill on one of the humans. If you don't have the required materials, then make sure that you hold on to the machete as it is a very powerful weapon anyway, and then get a kill with an upgraded machete as soon as you can. And once you've upgraded and then broken all five melee weapons throughout the game, your trophy will then unlock. So that's how to do the build them up and break them down trophy for The Last of Us Part 1. I do hope that the guides helped you out. If it has, please do me a massive favour and give the like button a click. And if it's really helped you out, then consider subscribing and pressing the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. Let me know down in the comments how you got on with finding all five of your melee weapons and which one that you prefer to get your kills with as you make your way through the game. But either way, whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching. Please take care of yourselves out there. It is a bit of a funny old world these days. Be nice to each other. It will help everyone. And we do look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides. Hang back. Ah! Can you see our logo in the middle of the screen? Give it a click and enables you to subscribe, which helps us help you get more guides.